Spooky castles, creepy clown motels, and one of the most haunted places in all of the world. And it's just down the street from my house. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. Today we're breaking down some of the most haunted places in the world. Let's do this. Winchester Mystery House. Let's head to San Jose and the world famous Winchester Mystery House. You've heard of the famous Winchester rifle, right? Been around since the 1860s. Well, this is a story of the alleged haunted family following the death of her husband, the rifle magnet William Wirt Winchester. Sarah Winchester commissioned a Victorian labyrinth designed to repel the vengeful spirits of the lives taken by her husband's guns. The sprawling Queen Anne style mansion comprising four stories, 160 rooms, 10,000 window panes and 47 stairways is appointed with curious elements such as a staircase leading directly into the ceiling and windows that open into secret passages. It also has bizarre features such as stairs that lead nowhere, doors that open onto walls, columns that are installed upside down, and chimneys that don't reach the ceiling. She was said to be trying to confuse the spirits she believed were haunting the home. She also had a seance room. Ancient Ram Inn, England. Now let's head across the pond to England to a truly dark home. Ancient Ram Inn, built in 1145, has played many roles over the centuries. Priest residence, housing for masons at an inn, and even a pub. But it also happens to be one seriously haunted spot. In the late 1960s, a man named John Humphreys bought the house and was introduced to the angry ghost the first night he went into his new home. After going to sleep, he claims a demonic force grabbed his arm and dragged him out of bed across the room. John Humphreys is now in his 80s and is the only living occupant of the ancient Ram Inn. He has dedicated the later years of his life preserving the old building and it's cost him nearly everything. His wife and three daughters left this haunted old building and the man hell bent on safeguarding it. Inside his home, Humphreys has found evidence of ritual sacrifice and devil worshiping. Even more disturbing, the skeletal remains of children under the staircase. Did I mention that the site is on a 5,000 year old pagan burial ground as well? Architectural Digest writes, with ghostly children, a high priestess, and even incubus. Google it, but don't say you weren't warned. Wandering the halls, guests have reportedly leapt from the windows in a frenzy to escape. Carl Beck House, Canada. Built by lumber magnet Carl Beck in the late 1800s. This house, don't ask me to pronounce the name, Penaguishinini, <laughs> Canada, as one of the most haunted houses in all of Ontario. According to legend, Beck and his family lived in the house together after his wife passed away. The eldest daughter, Mary, was put in charge of raising the young children. Years later, when Carl died, he left Mary one dollar in his will. Now fast forward to today, an angry female ghost, presumably Mary, is said to appear in the upstairs window. You probably haunt the house too if your dad and only gave you one dollar inheritance. You know me, I'm always Team Mary. That's my wife's name for record anyway. For any travelers curious about Victorian architecture and a side of paranormality, and you can actually rent the Carl Beck house as an Airbnb. Oh great, <laughs> starting at 119 bucks a night. Would you stay here knowing it was haunted? Let me know in the comments below. Crazy Clown Motel. Okay, I know that this is a list of crazy homes, but sometimes it's your home away from home or an extended stay type of location that can really ramp up the creep factor. Insert exhibit A, the Crazy Clown Motel, a location that I'm not gonna be able to lie, would probably haunt my dreams because I don't really care for clowns. Oh, and did I mention that it was also named the scariest motel in America? Doesn't that make you just wanna come out and stay here <laughs> already? Also known as the Crazy Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada, a brother and sister built this motel in the 80s next to the local graveyard so they would be able to close their deceased father. Sweet, right? Well, it would be if that were all, but things take a strange twist. The two also added their clown collection as decor. In fact, the motel attracts clown donors from around the world, and now the clown motel is chock full of creepy looking clowns with a nice view of the cemetery. Would you stay here? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Oh, I almost forgot. The owner of the motel is interested in selling the motel with a caveat that the clowns stay. He hopes to get around 900,000. He said he actually does have some offers. How could anyone resist the hundred of clowns, right? Eastern State Penitentiary, Philadelphia. From one hair raising home away from home to another. The castle like Eastern State Penitentiary is where some not so lucky folks checked in, but may have not checked back out right away. And besides just looking spooky, this dark penitentiary 
penitentiary took solitary confinement to new levels when it was built in 1829. Prisoners lived alone, exercised alone, ate alone, and when an inmate left his cell, our guard would cover his head with the hood so he couldn't see or be seen. From there, the tales of prison just became more strange and twisted. In fact, the prison had to abandon its solitary system due to overcrowding in 1913, but that didn't stop the forms of punishment from getting any less severe. For instance, there are reports that an inmate's tongue was strapped to or connect to his wrist is one example. Before it closed its gates in 1970, the site now welcomes thousands of visitors every year, both for its museum and Halloween celebrations. Oh, and the haunted house lovers, you'll really like this. Reported paranormal happenings have included maniacal laughter, shadowy figures, and even pacing footsteps throughout the old jail. All Madame, United Arab Emirates. There is something eerily beautiful about ghost towns, and Al Madame is no exception. Located about 40 miles southeast of Dubai in the UAE, the village was most likely built in the 1970s and deserted shortly thereafter, a fact that local legend attributes to the shape-shifting spirits, scaring people straight out of the town. No one knows whether or not the spirits have lingered, but Al Madame still has a sort of haunted quality to it. Dunes encroaching on the two rows of houses and a mosque sand falling through broken windows like waves, and its seemingly endless sea of desert stretching out of every direction. Would you visit this ghost town? Let me know in the comments below. St. Augustine Lighthouse, Florida. The St. Augustine Lighthouse is visited by more than 216,000 people annually, but it's just as well known for its otherworldly guests. Several tragic events that occurred at the now historic site have contributed to the alleged paranormal activity. The ghost of a lighthouse keeper who fell to his death while painting the tower has been spotted watching over the ground. And ever since the horrific death of three young girls who drowned when the cart they were playing and broken fell into the ocean, visitors have claimed to hear the sounds of children playing in and around the lighthouse. Would you visit this creepy location? Let me know in the comments below. The Forbidden City, Beijing, China. No trip to Beijing is complete without a visit to the Forbidden City, China's former imperial palace that now serves as a museum. But you might not know that the popular tourist destination has quite the reputation among supernatural enthusiasts. During its 600-year tenure as a palace, the complex had its fair share of murderers. Whether from jealous concubines poisoning one another or executions performed at the emperor's request, needless to say, there have been many reports of strange phenomena since the palace opened to the public in the 1940s. The most common story involves a woman dressed in white, as most good ghost stories do, strolling around the grounds and sobbing. Have you ever been to the Forbidden City? Did you feel like it was haunted? Let me know in the comments below. Leap Castle, Ireland. Built at some point between the 13th and late 15th century, this Irish castle has seen more gruesome deaths than a Game of Thrones wedding. As legend has it, during a struggle of power within the O'Carroll clan, which had a fondness for poisoning dinner guests, one member plunged a sword into his brother, a priest, as he was holding mass in the castle's chapel. The room is now called the Bloody Chapel, and the priest is said to haunt the church at night. The horror doesn't end there. During renovations in the early 1900s, workmen found a secret dungeon in the Bloody Chapel with so many human skeletons, they filled three cartloads when they hauled it away. The dungeon was also designed so that prisoners would fall through a trapdoor, have their lung punctured by wooden spikes on the way down to the ground, and they would die a slow, horrific death within earshot of the sinister clan members above. The Whaley House. Okay, I gotta end in my hometown with the world famous Whaley House. This thing is said to be super spooky. All right, Thomas Whaley built this family estate in 1857 on the former sites of San Diego's first public gallows. Not sure what a gallows is? Well, it's where they used to hang prisoners back in the day. Not good stuff. So shortly after he moved in, he reported hearing the heavy footsteps of Yankee Jim Robinson, a drifter and thief who was hanged on the site four years before the house was built. Oh, and to make a long haunted story short, the Whaley's family history ended up being filled with lots of tragic deaths, suicides, many of which occurred inside the home itself. According to the Whaley House Museum that you can now go and visit, some of the family members still haunt the landmark running up and down the stairs and turning lights on and off. Spooky. No doubt, make sure you put it on your list of place to visit when you come and see us in San Diego. I'm not gonna lie, all of those places are a little bit too creepy for my life. I'm not staying at any one of them. <laughs> all right, let me know. Plus, if you know any more haunted houses, drop them in the comments below. And please make sure you subscribe and binge watch your entire playlist right here. Thanks so much for watching.